Okay, so um, I just got done cleaning my, uh, let's say, vacuum sealed uh, Stanley. This is a Stanley, and then the other one's a thermos. I have to clean them out because I fill them up full of milk every uh, every couple of days, every two or three days, um, and it seems to to help a little bit to, to preserve them and stuff. Uh, this is the third day. I'm, I'm kind of taking a chance on a th on three days of preserving milk, but I'm gonna attempt to eat this. Um, the milk was kind of cool. It didn't really seem to smell too bad, but I will say one time it was it was it was kind of bad. It made me lightheaded um, on the third day. The third day is usually pretty bad, but this weather it's it's been kind of cool. Um, I got problems with moisture um, building up I sewed this little uh, thing on the end of my sponge and then I have to have to wipe every so often uh, especially for driving it's drive steer wipe steer wipe um, I'd like a squeegee I'd have to look into that um, my windshield wiper is breaking on uh, on the outside it's a quarter of it's torn off or something um so i don't i try not to use a windshield wiper too much well no i i'm not gonna restrict that usage but when i get new windshield wiper someday i'll um maybe try to use the windshield wiper for inside here somehow i'll try to cut it in, in half or something um but yeah these these days i've just been kind of um, spending a lot of time on the internet looking at, like, I, I, I almost spent all day yesterday on 9gag, just, there's so much new content, and I'm just, I decided just to record what I look at, uh, it's just something boring, um, with this, with this, uh, really wet weather, I don't, I don't feel so bad, uh, about losing my bicycles now, because I really wouldn't be able to ride through this rain anyway, um, as much as it as it comes and goes, rains all night, rains all day, and it's just more rain. But I mean, I'd rather I'd rather have this rain than that 20 degrees colder weather in Wisconsin. It's it's a little bit a little bit better that way. And um, you don't you don't see the travelers that go through Wisconsin like you do here. There there are a lot of hippie travelers. And they don't have to dress really warm for this weather, but they do have to uh, try to make themselves watertight. But um, I wonder where they go. I see them stop at the library. That's where I tend to notice them. Is they, they go to the library. And the bus stop's not too far from the library. Um, and then they stop there and uh, just, I don't know, you know, what what's... Uh, what's on their travel plans uh there's something that's really curi a curiosity because i i'll see uh quite a few of them uh quite a few different ones every week just passing through we just see them one time and then they're off i don't know if they're heading north south east or west most likely not so much west since you're at the ocean they may be doing a lot of coastal traveling in some way i remember when i was in cannon beach there were these french Canadian girls that spoke their own language and they hung out at that library for a little bit and left so they're they're passing through somewhere from they could be for, mostly foreigners are they mostly Americans are they mostly foreigners are they mostly Canadians they're definitely backpackers that are look young okay I don't find any older guy you know 20s and they look like they uh you know, from the 60s, they're hippies. I mean, they don't need to dress up for this type of backpacking stuff that they're doing. But I wonder if they're staying at um, their, yeah, hostels or, or what. I, I have to look into that, see what uh, what's all available for hostels along the coast. I would expect quite a few, but it's, it's hard to say. But yeah, that's... So, so what I'm doing is just uh, just eating. I'm, I'm doing good on my food budget with uh, the food stamps. Food is much cheaper, and I I don't have I don't have to starve myself. I'm just kind of not eating as much because 
Um, that's it.